What started as a simple painting that I did for myself for fun has culminated in not one, not two, but three new books on Art Deco. I became completely and utterly swept up in this time period as I was looking at references when I was creating that first painting. And I just absolutely went down the rabbit hole and I'm so excited to take you with me through these books. I'm teaching my quadrant method for drawing figures in this book and it's the first time I've really put down the exact process that I use for drawing figures and there's videos that accompany these projects as well so if the book and I go step by step by step line by line through the book how to do these drawing and coloring methods but I do offer some links for additional learning resources as well we are doing quite a number of full fashion figures from the time period we're going to look at exactly how to draw and exactly how to shade many of the projects in many different ways you can do markers through layerings we're going to do watercolor markers we're going to be looking at watercolors we're looking at copic markers coupled with colored pencils so each project in addition to how to draw has step-by-step -step instructions on how to color the men using just a few of my favorite drawing materials we're going to be going over skin tones how to shade and highlight them no matter from light to dark and of of course we're gonna have some cute puppy dog <laughs> friends lots lots more dogs coming in volume two just so you know because I know that that's a big favorite oh and we're also going over inks which is one of my favorite new mediums that I've been playing with many different eye ideas how to draw them different makeup ideas makeup in the 1920s was the first time that women were really quote-unquote allowed to wear makeup in public and they had a very specific of way of applying it I'm going to teach you just how how to draw that in this book. We're also going all through all the different styles of bobs that they had, how to draw them, and then there's four complete face drawing projects in the book as well. And again, everything is laid out very clearly, very step by step. I don't skip steps. So if it takes me three pages to illustrate how to draw one face, then three pages it shall be. Lots of different inspiration for different styles of hats. Then we do profiles, forward facing. We're doing a three-quarter portrait. Um, lots of different inspirations. And there's also little chapters and tidbits there on the history of the clothing and the makeup and the fashions as well. So it's sort of like this dream book. Oh, and the jewelry. I almost forgot. It's like zentangling on steroids when you're making these beautiful masterpieces come to life. The process of doing jewelry is very, very relaxing. All told in the book, there are a whopping 69 projects that you get to go through and create and I hope that you enjoy the contents in there as much as I enjoyed creating this it was such a love to make and I can't wait to show you volume two for when that comes out as well so stay tuned and there's a coloring coming out to boot <laughs> 